We are hardly alone, so privacy is not an option. It not is quite yet. Ask. You are already on my good side, such as it is. Or do you seek something else? Something more intimate? This is your good side. <laughs> I could be far worse if it became necessary. Be thankful it is not. Not yet, anyhow. Let me see. I would expect favor to come with a price. Perhaps you would be willing to pay a compliment. Is that too much? Hmm? I am brilliant and amazing. <laughs> I suppose stating the obvious will have to do. Very well, then. You are on my good side. Best watch your step that you don't fall off. Oof! <laughs> I kind of expected you to yes. quick load, not quick save. I'm not a petty cunt. Hold on, but um, that was alone, that so was because I was gonna do this. What's this? <laughs> it is a rather odd discussion. You seem to des oh, it's humor you desire. Hmm? I didn't. Not unless you stop. Right in front of the chantry, by the way. Woo! Well, you got that four back. I think I lost eight. Oh, and in this game, there is a way to miss the ability to romance a character, just like in Mass Effect, mm -hmm. because opportunities come in stages, mm -hmm. and you must meet every one of like three stages, otherwise you will reach a point where you do not get another chance. If you miss like one stage, then you're done. You just miss that stage. You're, you you cannot get that character anymore. Did, so I just did I just pass the first stage? Essentially, yes. First base, boys. Woo! Yes. Hey, girl. Lothering. I think it started as a settlement by the river, and then grew when it became the place where two roads met. I did it. There are always people in Lothering, but what? many are just passing through. <laughs> I said I was gonna get with Morgan, and I did. That's not like I know, but I mean like. It's, it's gonna go that way. Okay. It's gonna be good. Okay. It's gonna get it. Yes. Well, here I. I knew this would. Come uh, uh, all right. Later. All right. Tell me about this vision. All right. I you're smoking how, how explain, much weed? But I had a dream. In you know what? She's probably eating that all through. Darkness. That we found in the shit. It was so dense, so real, and there was a noise, a terrible, ungodly noise. I stood in the peak, and watched as the darkness consumed everything. And when the storm swallowed darkness. the last of the sun's light, I, I fell, and the darkness drew me in. Is this a Kingdom Hearts intro? <laughs> when I woke, I went to the Chantry's gardens, as I always do. But that day, the rosebush in the corner had flowered. Everyone knew that bush was dead. They knew! It and twisted and gnarled. The ugly saw, but there it was. <laughs> a single beautiful rose. It was as though the maker stretched out. It kind of looked like the uh, the the uh, waveform from when I caught. Darkness. There Didn't is it? hope and beauty. Maybe it was longer. In my dream, I fell, or oh, or maybe I jumped. I'd do anything to stop the blight. I know that we can do it. There are so many good things in the maker's world. I don't. How I can't can pin her accent. Black devours everything. I I don't know. He made this world. He could destroy it. But there is so much worth saving. I fuck your you, god. You're such a pessimist. I will kill him. Ooh. Eat my ass, Liliana. I don't care. I got some witch kind. Oh. Um, Stuff. Leliana. So this game has the least romance options of every single mm -hmm. Dragon Age. Well, there's a straight right. option. There's like for men, there's a straight right. option for women, and but then there's two perfect. bisexual options. Some Is she bi? Yes. <laughs> she is one of the two bisexual when I options. About, they want to believe that he's gone. He cannot possibly. Have yeah, yeah, God's gone. But there's it is. there's two really males and two females. And you have met both of the females. Thank you. I hate her. Oh, she's my favorite. Do this, do that. Of course you yes. would. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Alistair. <laughs> you select like him, do this, right. do that. <laughs> Alistair's great. Like someone like me. You either hate him or you love him. 
One of the two. Yeah, she's my favorite, and she appears in Inquisition as well. Succor and she can. Harbor to all who seek it. I chose to stay. You know I can get some sucker. You, you know how much I want to hit you. <laughs> your, your face is just right here. Do it. It's so easy. My my hands already up. Like it would be so easy. <laughs> I was a traveling minstrel in Orlais. Tales and songs were my life. I performed, and they rewarded me with applause and coin. And my skill. So battle. she's a gypsy woman. Well, you turned different skills when none. You travel, turned yes. battle yes, none. Yes, of course. Um, Am I getting that right? She's a bard. I mean, <laughs> I mean. No, she really is a bard. Okay. So she's going to die. Of course I do. I love stories far too much to keep them to myself. Well, you're a fucking bard. I would hope you told them, stories. Chantry Law says it is man's pride that created the darkspawn. In ages past. So you, you know. Is this is this not Warhammer 40k? Like the, the bright the darkspawn sound just like chaos. Anyway, continue. Magics, you you uh. Imagine that you know the Dragon Age music um, that at some He's point thinking, through us playing. I'm sure you already hear it. City, where there's like just orchestral music and, and a woman creator, singing. Mm -hmm. but they That's her. And ah. And it is with the like, is it any instance is with, it, with like a woman like singing just noises over orchestral music is supposed to be her? Like her as a character, not just her, her as a character. Okay. Any land that was touched by the taint became blighted and would suffer no life. Instead, the darkspawn arose to torment us and remind us of our hubris. For Dragon Age 2, they changed how the romances work a little bit. And all but one of the options are bisexual options. I mean, even... Everyone but one. They decided not to limit any characters at all, except one. The one they decided to limit is a lesbian-only option. Of course, because I bet that was someone on the team's idea. Like, there should be a lesbian-only option. Yes. Can there be a gay guy only option? No, that's sexist! I think I think my favorite relationship, because I, I only saw a video of it, I never like, did it myself, was... When you on um, one of your characters meets one of the demon dudes, I forget the name. Kunari. Kunari meets a Kunari, and you as a dude can romance said Kunari, and he's like, "Well, it's not like we're dating, really. It's more like we're just doing stuff, and like anytime you want to call it quits, we're good." So your romancing option is just to be a fuck buddy. That's it. That's that that that's your end game. Okay. Inquisitions also changes it up a bit. It goes back to there being like male only or female only options, far less bisexuals in it. And now in Inquisition, they also added race specific. Oh, so oh, you have one oh. dude that doesn't want a Kunari. You have one guy that only wants an elf. Same kind of things. Same. Same. It's just so limber. You don't even know anything about these elves. I don't. Have, have, These have, elves aren't exactly copy paste other elves. They're similar, but they're not exactly copy and paste. Of course, Orlesians enjoy telling stories. I shall tell you my favorite tale of Aveline, the Knight of Ole. That sounds like a girl name. A long time ago, a girl child was born. A girl to child? It, he had hoped for a son, not a daughter. A girl? And so he told his wife to abandon the child in the woods. Before the cold could claim her, the baby was found by a tribe of Dalish elves who took pity on the poor mewling thing and raised her as their own. Aveline, for that is what they called her, grew strong and quick and clever under the guidance of the elves. Aged really quick. She learned to wield a sword as well as any man, could kill a deer with an arrow at hundred paces, and I was too. as graceful on the back of a horse as she was on foot. Aveline's Dalish guardians saw that she could easily best any Olesian chevalier in battle and wanted chevalier. to show the cruel humans just, the child they had left to die. They bestowed upon her a fine horse and armor and sent her to prove herself to her people in the Grand Tourney. Now in those days, no woman was allowed to take up arms, let alone compete in the Grand Tourney, but Aveline kept her helmet on and was not discovered. Aveline won many events and gained the approval of the adoring crowd. Eventually, 
she came face to face with the knight Kaleva. She's not very good at telling stories. Evelyn had already bested him in the joust, and Kaleva was determined not to lose a second time. Out of desperation to regain his honor, Kaleva tripped Evelyn and tossed her to the ground, ripping off her helmet as he did so. Silence fell upon the arena as Evelyn was revealed. Kaleva declared the previous competitions invalid. A woman had taken part, and this was not allowed. But the crowd cheered for Aveline. Kaleva was furious, for he had lost to a woman and was now being shamed. Blinded by his rage, he forced Aveline to her knees. Know your place, woman, cried he, and slit her throat. So much for being the best fucking swordsman. The son of the king, Prince Freyan, was present. He recognized Aveline's skill and bravery and began to see the injustice done to the women in his land. When he was made king, he rewrote the laws of Ole so that women could also become chevalier. He honored Avelyn and knighted her after her death. And to this day, any female who is knighted reveres Avelyn the Brave, for she is the patron of all women chevalier. Oh, uh, what? Sorry, uh, what was that? Yeah, what? <laughs> I know one, told to me by my mother a long time ago. It always chilled me to the bone. Maybe you have heard of Flemeth? <sighs> have you heard of Flemeth? Hey, Morgan! You know someone named Flemeth? You know? I feel like, I feel like this girl who I just made out with. In, fr in front of her. In front of you. You also had the conversation in front of her. How about, you know, Flemeth? Yeah. I have never heard of Flemeth before. In my life. Uh, are you sure? Bitch. Was she the Flemeth of legend? Flemeth, the devour of men. Ferelden and mothers. They All right, also I'm done with you. Flemeth mourns her. S -s 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 I'm done with you. And then one day, they say she took to her side many chastened men. And with their help, Begat her daughter witches, who he which one? Andraste was the maker's chosen. The maker had long since you actually skipped the over some when the sound of kind of revealing information here. about Beauty, Flemeth. Grace and wisdom I mean, enraptured him, and he offered to take her from I'm the real here. world to become his divine. If Flemeth bride. was but the Andraste person she claims to be, that Morgan husband. claims to be, that she probably claims to be, she's probably Instead, a little bit of everything everyone has said before. She probably did more. like that so fucking Ernest dude that she married, but she was also probably a whore. But she was also probably a great leader in battle. But she also probably didn't give a fuck. It's probably all of them at the same time. And this is why Andraste began her exalted march on the idolaters. It is possible to miss figuring out the actual truth. You you can figure out the truth, the one truth about Flemeth in this game. You can also completely miss it. Or having a wonderful guide next to me sitting right here could actually just tell me i could i'll tell you if you miss it did i just what what did i miss so far nothing okay <laughs> i mean she told you some stories uh-huh which are actually she she gave you some information for example mm -hmm. that flemeth didn't give you or that morgan didn't give you mm -hmm. A chieftain of one of the, the more important ones himself. being that Grew Flemeth jealous. has had several children. Yes, Morgan is not she was the first child. As the okay. Maker's betrothed. And, Maferath began and I'm sure I'm going to meet them all over the place. In significance, as Andraste became ever more devoted to the Maker, out of envy and spite, Maferath made a pact. I, with I would even be surprised if she was the mother of that Aveline chick. Allowing his beloved Andraste to be ambushed. And here's a babe in the woods. Andraste was burned at the stake in Minrathus, the capital of Tevinta. I wouldn't be surprised if every major female historical character ever mentioned in this game was a daughter of Flemeth. The Tevinta Chantry claims that in Andraste's last moments, Hesarion's heart softened, and he heard the voice of the Maker telling him to end her suffering. He plunged his sword into her heart, and as her blood washed over his hands, he became one of the faithful. Dissenters said that the Archon only converted because he could not stem the tide of Andraste's cult, 
and was forced to do so to stay in power. We will never know for sure. What do you need? We're gonna have an entire episode Ask of you away. just talking to your companions, <laughs> by the way. You, I mean... You've been talking to them for over a half an hour. I mean, it's kind of important. I yeah. just fucking learned. I, but, did you see what I mean? How much there is just by talking to people. Now, imagine if you were reading the codexes. Such as they are. About the Grey War. What do you need? Ask away. I already... What was that? He... He's not going to teach you to become a Templar because you're not the right class. Ah. What do you need? That's for, like, a warrior. Okay. Have you seen the uniform? It's not only stylish, but well made. I'm a sucker for good tailoring. Oh, you aren't kidding. I think the Templar uniforms are as colorful as they are just so the Templars didn't feel dull in comparison. Last thing you want when you're about to take down some Maleficar out in the woods is to have him point and laugh at your taste in clothing, am I right? You don't really want to know about my being a Templar, do you? It's really quite boring. Poke, poke, poke. Tell me everything. The truth of the matter is that I did hate going to the monastery. The initiates from poor families thought I put on airs, while the noble ones called me a bastard and ignored me. I felt like Al Eamon had cast me off unwanted, and I was determined to be bitter. But I took some solace in the training itself, I guess. I was actually quite good at it. The education, mostly, but also the discipline. You need to have a disciplined mind in order to use the abilities we have. It was difficult, but rewarding. As far as I see, I have way more abilities than you could fucking can. See that sword on your back? Yeah, you're wardens. welcome, motherfucker. And Duncan felt my Templar abilities might be useful for when we encountered Darkspawn magic. So I kept it up. What about you? Do you have anywhere you consider home? You want, like, a, a hard mode challenge, by the way? Mm -hmm. Aside from ramping up the difficulty? Mm -hmm. Try doing a playthrough without a single mage in your party. We won't always. Be it's actually it. pretty fucking difficult. Once the Fuck, war is dude. over, once the blight is, well, a time will come. A full we'll party of mages would be game. difficult in itself, but yeah, that seems like a, a full party itself. of no mages, also it's very, nice. very difficult. I kind of really like good. the build I have right now with a mage, a tank, a thief, and uh, Morgan can kind of be replaced with something else maybe later on, but like. I like having her around. She's got assets. Maybe. Could you? I don't know what I'd find out there that would be any different. I guess it would depend on where I was going. Anyhow, now I've sidetracked us. It's good to see you again. Thank you, Sir Maron. The revered mother runs the Chantry itself, and Sir Bryant heads the Templars stationed here. Uh, 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 okay. Were? Did you drive them off? Well, so Brian will appreciate that. Yeah. Not since Terran Loghain passed by with his army. It's a shame about the king. But with the Darkspawn coming, few can think of anything else. Is he still alive? The revered mother put him there a few weeks back. He'll be dead soon enough. Make her watch it. I forget, did they tell yes. you? Who might you be? Yet? Or did you skip past the exact reason, like, why his punishment is being in that cage? I mean, he, he, just, he, he supposedly killed uh, women and children or some shit. But like you that. know why he's in the cage, specifically? Because, I mean, they could have put him anywhere. Why in just a random cage outside the town? I didn't skip over, but I actually didn't see that. I might have missed that dialogue option. Yeah, there is one. And the reason is they... He's instead of like a court, instead of anything like that, they are literally just putting him outside the town in a cage for the darkspawn to deal with them, him when they arrive to the town, because they know they're not holding on to this town. So rather than like what, while they're dealing with all this, rather than having to go through some sort of court process for this dude, they're just like fuck they it. literally get in a cage. The darkspawn will kill you when they get here. We don't want to deal with this bullshit. 
That's that's why he's in the cage to I've be seen. torn apart by the dark spawn when they Sir arrive. Bryant, commander of the okay. Lothering Templars. Stan Logan declared all gray wardens I, uh, traitors. That, that lady did magic over death. there, and she's not you one of the mages. Uh, okay, put her in the cage. I don't believe the gray wardens would be as careless or malicious as the Tan claims, but either way, there it is. It is best you not linger, though, just in case. Man, my first time playing through this, I hated that guy. Who, Tarn? The Tarn? Yeah, I do too. Because... To the and oh. seek out unsanctioned magic. You just hear the lies he told. Is all we can mm -hmm. do so... So much of the time throughout this, you know? Do you want a... Slight... It's not a story spoiler. Tell me. Tell me. Because, Tell me. Okay. Taren Logan, you can get him in your party. What the f Fuck. He can become a party member. Doesn't spoil any story because you can miss this. Most people will not get this. Will not get this result. I mean, almost nobody will actually realize they get this result unless they are told that they can, unless they're told about it or they look it up. But you can get him in your party and he will appear in the expansion as well. Hmm. And maybe also in, yeah, no, he can appear in the later games as well. Hmm. Almost nobody will ever see that. I'm gonna guess like you've been tried for your crimes. Well, well, Ed eh, Grey Warden here. I'm recruiting him. I'll let you see it if you if you get that path. I'll let you see it. Otherwise, I will tell you how it goes. Mm -hmm. But he can become a member of your party, and he can last literally through the entire series as it is released right now. Oh, I have no time mm -hmm. to. That's even pretty think unique for an antagonist, right? My concern mm -hmm. is protecting these people. I see nothing threatening them other than the Darkspawn. We have more than swords at our disposal. We Mass Effect never even did that. No. Well. That's, oh yeah, I'll, I'll get to that to point. The, the reason why people hated the Mass the Effect endings so. so much was that no matter what you did through all three games, you could have been the shittiest fucking human being to ever exist, but then pick the, the blue ending. Well, people can change their minds last minute. Or make a decision they'd regret in the heat of the moment. Like an epic battle, literally the longer I take to make th this decision, everyone is dying out there. And if I don't hurry up, more and more will die. And if I take too long, literally everyone will die. That could put some pressure and you could definitely make a wrong decision there. But that's not what my character would do. <laughs> In her study, no doubt. Preparing what she will take when we eventually evacuate. Our ban was summoned by Tan Logan, and he took his soldiers north ban? with him. Lothering has been a ban. What's a ban? Oh, it's a leader. It's just, it's another leader title, like Tarn. Okay. If the matter is important, certainly. I was there at the farmhold. The beast stood there, wet with the blood of the children. He didn't even deny slaughtering them. The revered mother ordered him caged. She has more mercy than I do. But perhaps she is right. And the Maker has love for all his creations, even the Kunari. You can ask the revered mother. I say let him rot until the Darkspawn claim him. I can, I can speed that process. Other than the Darkspawn horde bearing down on us, none of it is good. Teon Loghain is set to declare himself king, I hear. Disaster piled on disaster. None that we know of. Tan Logan has no legitimate claim on the throne. He I bet it's Alistair. Hero, and his daughter may be queen, <laughs> no, but yeah, he is a common. And the king's corpse is barely cold. If Arl Eamon was able to intervene, perhaps it would not have gone this far. I do not care who takes the throne. Only fools fight over who owns a cottage while it burns down around them. Now, unless there's something else you need. If the matter is important, certainly. I suppose since you are a mage, I do know something that might interest you. Don't look surprised. I would be a poor Templar if I couldn't tell that much. Really? Yeah. Really? The out me wearing robes, carrying a big fucking staff? Am I a mage? No, I'm not wrong. a mage. I think you have uh, iron, iron armor active too. So you literally have the particles falling off of you. <laughs> what the fuck? What's, uh, what's this? If I remember correctly, the right of annulment is the right to kill every mage in the tower because you deem the st the current status of the circle to be too unstable too much of a threat you can't contain it so murder so i can confirm so the circle of mag or magi have in plan a nuclear option 
to themselves. It's it's the um, it's the Templars that watch the circle. Okay, so the circle of magi belong to the yes, Templars. It, it is it is the right of the Templars to kill all the mages in a circle of magi, used as a last resort to sto- uh, restore order. Such a call when mages are needed to fight the darkspawn. Something terrible must have happened. I have nothing <laughs> else to a tell. A blood you. mage. <laughs> the only news I care about is the approaching horde. Now, unless there's something else you need. If the matter is important, certainly. Now, unless there's something else you need. They are. With the ban having taken his men north, the village is left to its fate. We will evacuate as many as we can before the horde reaches us. I will stay as long as I am needed. Now, unless there's something else you need. I cannot openly help you, I fear, but... Here, take this key. It opens the large cabinet on the far wall. There is more there than we can carry when we evacuate, so take what you need. Maker's breath, how many times must we drive them off? Indeed, they're gone. It's true. I saw the bastard running for the hills myself. That's an impressive feat indeed. Will you accept a small reward for your efforts? Yes! If it interests you, there is a chanter's board outside full of quests that need doing. The chanter's even pay for some of them. Now, unless there's something else you need. Yeah, motherfucker just conned me. What did you pick? I uh, the not persuade option. I'm like, hey, will you accept rewards? Yes, there's a reward bounty out there. You can accept one of those quests for payment. Ha 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 ha, fuck you. Tra- Eat my ass. You got money. He gave you money. 20 silver. Fucking wipe my ass with 20 silver. You're at the beginning of the game. I am a Grey Warden, pay me! He did. More! He's just a Templar, man. More! Miss, what is your name? You. Ah, oh, shit. Seem quite odd to me. You would not be the first to think so. But avert your eyes. I will not have you staring over long. Let's get used to it. I'll be watching you. We want no trouble here. I feel like th- in his helmet, there is no head, only eyes to make that effect work. Oh no, he's got he's got a bridge of a nose there. I saw too much of his eyeballs to believe that there was a full face in there. I'm so curious to see how the lead up to and including like towards the end of the game goes. Cause you, you've played Mass Effect games. You have the gist of how Bioware games go. Uh-huh. You get through the game, there's a big final thing where all of your choices come to fruition mm-hmm. and there's, there's consequences, good and bad. You have the allies you've made along the way. Mm-hmm. The people you didn't ma- keep, you know, maybe could have helped here, but they didn't. Maybe someone dies or not. You know how the ends of these go. I'm so curious what your final segment is going to look like. It's, it's not something... I, I can predict the ending you're going to get, yeah, I think, at least based on... See. Based on how, which characters you like and which ones you don't, I think I can base, I can guess what your ending is going to be. Mm-hmm. What I cannot guess until I see you make the choices, really, is what your actual final segment leading up to the final, mm. d- like, ending is going to be. Because mm. there's a lot of different ways that that can look. Mm. Who? And I've done every possible I mixture. I did not see you approach. Sir Donald? Is that you? Alistair? By the maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Not yet. No thanks to turn Loghain. If Arl Eamon were well, he'd set Loghain straight soon enough. But if Arl Eamon is sick, why are you here? Our only hope now is a miracle. Every knight of Redcliffe has gone in search of the urn of sacred ashes. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness. But I fear we are chasing a fable. With each day, my hope dims. Magical, dead prophet's ashes cure anything. I expect you to take advantage of the Chantry's library, in fact. But my skills are better suited to battle than chasing down tales. Supposedly, the urn contains the ashes of the prophetess Andraste. Surely you know all this. What? Something about a girl being crucified and shit and uh, fucking burned at stake? Ah, I'm glad you paid attention. Because she's a big part of this game. 
<laughs> and no, you do not meet her. She mm. is dead. Okay. But she is a big part of this game. If you're truly interested, there are books here containing a great deal of lore. Nothing I have found leads me to believe that this was anything more than... I intend to return to Redcliffe soon and tell the Arlesa exactly that once Sir Henrik arrives. My fellow knight and traveling companion. He is delayed, though. <laughs> My mission takes priority. But I fear I shall be returning to Redcliffe with nothing to sh Why is that, if I may ask? I see. The Arl is a popular man, it's true. Tern, whatever the Tern has done or not done, the Arl remains ill, or worse. That is my primary concern. The Arl fell ill before the King died. We should see what's happening in Redcliffe. If nothing else, I am certain you would be welcomed at Castle Redcliffe. The Arl less- What? And you have his locket? And a note? Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. Now he can go home and die because I gave him that. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, good sir. You have been most helpful. Or I just unlocked it for him to help me on later on in the game. Alright, I'm gonna read about these ashes. Alright, I need to find this Javenti dude. 